Well, history remembers some of the pioneers from Jackie Robinson in baseball to Barack Obama and Kamala Harris in politics for breaking through society's racial barriers. But many more people have had to muster similar courage in less known circumstances, and that includes integrating all white schools right here on the first coast. Jeff Fallon recently met with several of the Rebolt 10, the first African American students at Rebolt High School more than five decades ago to learn their story. This was a place where some horrible things happened. Be called the N word, which might as well have been on all of our birth certificates for the rest of the time here. Two, four, six, eight. We don't want to integrate. Everybody would holler chocolate. Go home, you know. F you. Get the f out of here. We don't want you here. 1966. They were the ten first African American students to integrate Jacksonville's Rebalt High School. As we came, we could see the large crowd that was eyes that was viewing us. And in the cafeteria, I had an egg thrown at me, so. That was just the first day. Once the bell rang, I was on my own to maneuver around this building with some 1,400 students. But the resistance began earlier. The civil rights movement had arrived on the first coast, and a few local black community leaders, despite death threats, were urging school integration. I can remember my uncle coming home and saying, uh, Maxine, we have somewhere else we want you to go. 55 years later, six of the 10 reunited recently at the school to share their memories with First Coast News. I think we were handpicked. Um, we all excelled academically. We were nonviolent kids in, in uh, the middle school years. But suddenly they couldn't afford to be pacifists. The boys had to scrap and fight. The island right up there had a couple of fights. Some of their white classmates remember it with varying clarity. The majority of the people that went to this school were racist. I wasn't aware of some of the horror stories. I feel very guilty now after I hear some of the experiences that my fellow classmates had because I didn't know. He said, how can you sing about a wonderful world with all this stuff going on? Longinu Parsons says as a musician, he was welcomed by school bandmates. So I just wasn't ready for what happened on the first day of school when being re released into general population, using that term purposely. Longinu's nemesis cold cocked him in the back of the head one day. Now there were glimmers of hope and help. What turned out to be uh, a saving grace were the teachers. There were also good people here at Rebound. But the taunting and instigating from racist classmates, they say, were relentless. I asked myself a lot of times, why did I come back the next day and the next day? That these brave souls used to distill their character, building strength instead of fading into fear as their tormentors intended. And the next thing I know, I graduated from here. So it got better. I learned that I like people. It took me a long time because I hated everybody. And not only did we grow, but I think the people that we went to school with, it was a lesson for them. They grew as well. Some, but not all. Say they were, they were sorry that that had happened. Just a few. A handful. But these classmates agree they are ever richer for the experience. Ron Jr. is my best friend. And I saw what he had to go through when we were kids. He was the best man at my wedding. It turned out for the best. I met, I met a good group, and we all got along. And their belief that progress has been made, albeit too slowly and still far from finished, is unanimous. I don't think anything in our society can be done quickly. I would like for it to be. I think we've elevated. I think it all depends on um, what you do with your life. It's about what the world could be if we choose to make it that way. 55 years of life have passed since then, and while too many of the memories are regrettable, oh, look at that. would you do it all over again? I would, in a heartbeat. At Rebald High School in Jacksonville, Jeff Vallon, First Coast News, on your side.